Hey all you world shakers, this is Uncle Dean here. Been a while since I posted anything. I haven't felt much like it. Anyway, uh, to the point. What I have here is a regular battery. Regular 12 volt battery. It's got 12.34 volts in it. It fluctuates 3334. And uh, treadmill motor's running off of that. I've got a uh, washing machine motor that's been rewired, so it only has two sets of poles. It's got 18 uh, of one set and 18 of the other. I've rewired it. It's no longer a three-phase motor. It's now just a generator. I've replaced the magnets in it with neodymium N52s, and uh, it cogs pretty good. Each I've only got 36 magnets in it. It's not exact same amount as the poles. Anyway, she, you can see she's charging okay. I've got it coming out of, out of the now generator and into a transformer. And out of the transformer, it's running into a bank of supercapacitors. I've had them before. You go, most of you people have seen them in other little experiments. Nothing major in there, just super capacitors, no batteries, nothing extra. Nothing underneath. Yeah, there's a cordway over there, but it don't come and hook up to nothing. As you can see, nothing coming in on the bottom, nothing coming in from the top. It's a complete loop system. And I don't care what these A-holes say, it's possible. There's 1234 still on my battery. 33, 34, as I said, fluctuates back and forth, holds 34 pretty good, sometimes it bounces up to 35. And as you can see, we're charging. We not got a whole lot for amps, but this system doesn't really need it. Now it started out with only 9 volts in the super capacitor bank. Had 12 in the 12.65 in the uh, the battery, and it takes oh about 20 volts, give or take, to uh, run the motor. But it recharges it as quick as it uses it. Real simple system. I'm running right through a rectifier over here that's just a little way from rectifier. I think it's only maybe 20 amps or something. That's the most. And I just, as I say, just a real simple system. The battery tied directly in, or the treadmill motor tied directly in the battery run directly just off of 12 volts, mind you, and it's charging the 24 volt system. We're almost turned to 24. The motor runs real cool. Not getting hot. It's a, everything's a low RPM system. Motor's probably only doing maybe 150 RPM at the most. And, I'm, and that's stretching it probably. As you can see, we're still te steady charged. This thing will run and clear up to 30 volts if I let it. And then batteries just stay right there, fluctuating back and forth. Not using, not gaining. See, this borderline, and we're still charging here. Don't let anybody tell you that this is not possible, people. This is this. This is like the sixth or eighth unit that I built that uh, is looped. I mean, a lot of some people don't think it's possible, and that's fine. You know, you can believe what you want to believe.
I know of a fellow on the YouTube by the name of Jeremy. I won't say nothing more about him. Uh, he's a real smart electrician, real smart electrical engineer, but I think he's real stupid when it comes to uh, creating a loop system. I'm sure he's done it. He just don't. He gets paid more money to to show people that he hasn't. But I'm sure he's done it. It ain't that hard. Really, it isn't. Gee, that or I'm very, very lucky on my my little projects. And I mean, you know, this stuff is just all twisted wires, no soldered. I mean, I'm just clamping things together. You know, nothing, no frills. But it's doing what I need it to do without any problem. It ain't no big deal if you get zapped once in a while with one of these things. Yeah, it just wakes you up a little bit. Believe me, I've been zapped more times than I can count. Anyway, you know me, I ain't much for answering questions and stuff, but I'll see if I can get a schematic of this drawn up and I'll put it out on the, on my uh, web page in case anybody wants to play around with it. Not much to it though. Standard treadmill motor, flat belt, and rewired motor, add a few magnets, don't even have to add the magnets and it'll put out, it won't cog as bad. But I find that the same amount of magnets for the same amount of poles, you get more cogging, but you get more power. Figure a low RPM generator of this sort for somebody living off grid. You let this idle all night long, and what little bit of power use you have on your battery system, this will make up for it. And you know, it can be made to go a little faster to put out a higher voltage or, to, or just go with some different transformers. You may have to wind your own transformers, but. No, it really ain't that difficult. Just gotta think things through a little bit before you jump. 0 0.07 amp. It was putting out 12 earlier when I first fired it up because uh, it was, uh, oh, it just had less resistance on it, so that was easier to throw more amps in. The higher voltage or higher I charge, the less amps it puts out but that you know this is just a low rpm generator so it's really not made to throw out massive charge real fast it's made just to do keep your batteries peaked and the system can be refined you know it can be run 24 hours a day given the right build you know i've just got uh, improvised bearings and stuff in the back as you can see few roller bearings and some brat copper shims to bring up the slack because I was a little bit shy, but it's all pretty tight. As you can see, we're maintaining voltage and battery. And this ain't the best battery in the world. I've had I've been doing experiments with this battery for couple of years. A brand new battery, this thing probably just runs like a top. But you know me, poor people got poor ways and if I can make it work with poor stuff, you can make it damn, work damn good with better stuff. So I say. Alright all you world shakers, shake the world, make it yours. The end of the Biden regime regime is just around the corner. The Lord Almighty has said so. The world is going to shake and God is doing it. Go with God, brothers. <laughs>